Another one of my favorite tank builds was the Feng Shui tank. It was huge. We also got to build an extra tank called the Refugium, and that was very cool. If I remember correctly, you had no idea what Feng Shui was going into this. Now, I remember when we talked on the phone, we talked about it being like a f -f -f -feng, feng, feng, feng Shui. Feng Shui, Feng Shui, Feng Shui? Feng shui. Uh, feng shui. Yes. OK. I couldn't have said it better myself. Actually, I could have. It's a study it's or a study, the right? art of proper placement of objects. And that would bring a situation the best luck or the best, you know, uh, okay. things will flow smoothly. Water represents containment of the energy or life. So if we put it in the center of the house, hopefully this will radiate to the rest of the house. In keeping with the harmony of a feng shui tank, we decided to make this tank a living reef tank, where all the elements work together to form a sustainable ecosystem. So after learning feng shui, Zen Master Brett here got a little carried away and started driving everybody nuts in the office. This is all wrong. Your computer monitor has to be facing northwest. I don't know what you're doing right now. Your paperweight needs to be northeast. You know you're out of your mind. This is a mess right here. What you got going on right here, this isn't going to feng shui it. Feng shui it? Really? Is that your new catchphrase? Hold on. What are you doing? Turn a little bit this way. You just became the white dragon. So these are a lot of your frags, huh? Yeah, Wait, these are, fra are frags. Frags are actually fragments or pieces that we're able to cut or snip off of mother colonies. Okay. And we've been growing mother colonies for over 10 years now. The coral we use in this tank is actually what makes it one of my favorite builds. Our buddy Darian uses propagated coral, which is eco-friendly and does not come from the ocean. It was a really important part of making this unique living reef tank. You want to touch a star? That's a purple reef style. Cool as that. Look at that. How's it? <laughs> 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 they scare you? They don't bite. <laughs> Messing with my little sister, it never gets old. But no, seriously, Darian, I mean, yes. you got some beautiful pieces. So we're going to clean you out. I got rid of Brett long enough to put the sand in and fill it up. All right, guys, it's time to put the fish in, so let's roll. And with the corals in place, we loaded in the fish, and it was time to show the leaves their tank. Whoa. 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 What do you guys oh, think? Oh, my God. Nice, beautiful. Whoa. And the Lees loved it. But I had to prove to them that I successfully incorporated the feng shui elements. Like these fish right here, uh, they're called firefish. If you see at the end, we have flame scallops. We have a lot of purple, you know, for prosperity. The purple starfish. And none of the fish that we put in here are going to harm the reef. I've had tanks before, but nothing like this. Right. This is amazing. 